Welcome back to another edition of Fly Tying with Jim Ashura. Today I'm going to tie a beadhead Hemingway caddis pupa. The hook that I have in the vise is Hemingway's shrimp pupa fly hook. And this is a size 10. You can tie these size 10, 12s, 14s. Uh, the number is H122. I'm going to use Hemingway Synthetic Tapered Peacock Quills, and these are olive. It's a nice uh, natural-ish color. And I'm also going to use Hemingway Caddis Wings, and I'm going to make pupa wings out of these, and uh, I'm going to show you how to do that. I'm going to start out with black thread, and this is 210. I want a heavy thread because the heavy thread is going to help me to make a tapered body. We're going to put a base of thread down. And I'm going to bring that slightly around the bend. Let's try that again. This heavy thread I have to actually cut. I'm going to go ahead and take the synthetic quill and I trimmed a little bit off and I put a little bit of a taper on there just to help get that started this has sticky uh, it's like a sticker so you want this to glue towards you I'm going to form the tapered body and now I'm going to tie this off, take my whip finish and whip finish that off. This thread is a little bit too big for doing the finishing wrap, the finishing touches, but it is good for a speedy tapered body. I'm going to switch my thread to a an olive thread and this is 70 denier. we're just going to leave it attached to the top here. Now we can take our quill and we can start wrapping that. Of course if you have a rotary vise you can use that to wrap it and make some short work out of it back that one up there a little bit there we go I like to use my fingers to wrap them sometimes with the rotary vise you kind of get a little bit too quick and what happens is you leave a gap I'm gonna go ahead and trim this off I can probably use this for another fly. I'm going to take my caddis wing, and you can see I slice that. I'm going to pull that out. You don't want to slice it all the way through. We're going to take that, we're going to fold it in half. Fold it in half, line up those wings, and there's uh, several different colors of this. And see now, I can get the wings towards the bottom better. I'm going to tie that on. Want those wings underneath. stand up that front put some wraps in front of it that'll help keep them towards the bottom there I'm going to trim that off you can 
tie down that tab now. This is almost like a heavy, heavier plastic, so it you can work it there. Now I'm going to take wood duck uh, flank feather, and I'm going to take about uh, maybe about six of these. And this is going to be our antenna. I'm going to lay them right over the back. Go ahead and trim that off. I want a little darker head, so I'm going to use the Hemingway Deer Hair Dubbing, and this is a brown. And you can see there's a lot of deer hair in there. I'm going to try to get mostly the under fur. Get a couple pieces of actual of the actual hair that's not a big deal there we go put the rest of it back in the bag I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this Now before I finish that wrap, I'm going to get the whip finish. Hit that with the whip finish, tighten it up. Take that thread off. Put a little bit of head cement on there. Now you can take a bodkin needle and kind of pick the bottom out just a little bit or use a dubbing brush. Pull that out just a little bit. Got long, one of them long hairs in there. There we go. And here we have a Hemingway Caddis Pupa. Hope that you learned something from this video. Hope that you would subscribe to my channel. Please refer me to your friends. Please visit my sponsors. Leave comments, questions, suggestions. And most of all, thank you very much for watching my videos.